everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. I'm currently in Arkansas right now. If you guys saw my last video, I'm in the Big Fur public use area and I'm about two hours away from my next destination, which is in Oklahoma. So I'm leaving Arkansas today and I'm pretty excited to get closer to warmer weather because it is getting pretty cold here. It's about 35 degrees right now. It's about 6.45 in the morning, so it's pretty early, which is probably why it's so cold. Um, but it's supposed to rain here today, and so I'm going to go to my next destination where it's not supposed to be raining. I just have a few things I need to do before I can leave. I want to do the dishes, pack up my hammock and my chair. I also want to clean up the inside of this place a little bit before I leave. I am going to go to Walmart and get groceries, and so I kind of want to have like a clean van to have somewhere to put those. Uh, but yeah, let's start doing those things so we can get out of here. I've made it to Oklahoma and I'm at this place It's called Winding Stair Recreational Area and this vista view, okay, is what made me choose this spot because it is beautiful and I can't wait to show you this campground is $8 a night um, and it's first come first serve and you just fill out one of the little slips and put the thing on your posty thing. I'll show you guys when I get there. Um, but right past it is like this viewpoint and it's Emerald Vista. It's beautiful. Let me show you guys really quick before we go get into our camp. So here is the little fee station and I'm guessing you just fill out one of these little slips here. And then you put it into that little box there. So what I'm going to do is first use the bathroom. And then I will go find my spot, fill this out, and then I'll bring it back. But I want to pick out our spot first. These bathrooms are a big improvement from the other ones. Much cleaner. Like Arkansas, this is my first time in Oklahoma, and I'm not going to lie, I know nothing about this state, like, at all. <laughs> but first impressions are, like, a 9 out of 10 for, like, beauty of scenery. I, like, crossed over into Oklahoma, and then all of a sudden it was, like, getting mountainous. And then I saw a little sign that said, Gateway to the Mountain, so... I was like, this is pretty. I could like this. And so when I saw the pictures of this place, the winding stair recreation area, I was kind of like confused because I didn't think that Oklahoma had very much like mountainous scenery. I thought it was kind of flat, but 
I don't know. I've been pretty surprised at most of the places that I've been to so far. So I drove around the entire campground and decided that number seven is the one that I am choosing. And so as you guys can see, this is where you put your little slip after you're done filling it out and dropping the other half into the slot. The Vista is right behind me. There's also the entrance to like the Vista area right there. And so I can just walk over there. I also chose the spot that is pretty close to the bathrooms because it kind of sucks having to walk far in the morning. Not too bad, right? And then down this road here is another camping loop where there's only one other camper. He's kind of over in that direction. But other than that, I'm the only one camping here. We have a couple cars parked at the bathrooms, but it doesn't look like they're campers. I love having places to myself. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you guys know me at all, look at what I found. I don't know how I do this, you guys, but I always find these painted rocks everywhere and I freaking love it. Conveniently, there's a water spigot right across from my site. I don't know if it's on though. Come on, Joe. It is not on. I've literally only been here like five minutes and I already have one new neighbor there. And one new neighbor there setting up right now. Well, I thought I was going to have it to myself, but that's okay. We can share. I may or may not have bought this hooded little jacket for Joey. Joey, did you need a Christmas sweater? Because I got you one. Yeah, you want to try it on? So this is the first time since leaving Illinois that I don't have any service on my phone. So I started working on video stuff. Seven minutes left remaining of moving files. And we're probably just going to chill in here. I'm going to make dinner in a little bit. But it's getting kind of chilly. And then I figured tomorrow we'll just spend all day kind of exploring around here and, and going on that little hike they have. When I was at my mom's house, <laughs> I found all of my old movies. And so I filled up this guy with all of my old movies in case I ever have a day like this where I don't have internet at all and cannot entertain myself. Could watch V for Vendetta. That's kind of relevant right now. <laughs> Do any of you guys still watch DVDs? I feel like they're becoming obsolete now that like Netflix and other streaming apps have kind of taken over. Ooh, Moulin Rouge. It's probably what I'm going to watch. I was getting ready to make dinner and get all the stuff out, but then I saw the sunset happening. I was like, dang, I have to go see that. So we're taking a little walk over here to the Vista area again and check out the sunset. So I found this cheesy bacon mac. It's from Upton's Naturals, but I found it at a little store in Jonesboro, Arkansas. It has some bacon seitan, 100% vegan, and I'm gonna make it with some broccoli and Brussels sprouts because, man, I wish I didn't cut these up, but this is a quarter of one. It's a, they're, they were ginormous. I'm very excited about it, but that's what I'm having for dinner today.
So it's the next morning and this is coffee time. I'm drinking my coffee right now. And then after I'm finished drinking coffee and maybe eating a little something for breakfast, we are going to go on that hike that I saw. But I'm super excited to go. It's getting really sunny out already. It's only like 8 in the morning, but I have had super gray overcasty days the last few days, so this is going to be so nice. So I'm just going to finish my coffee, maybe eat a little something, and then we're going to go on this hike. I'm getting Joey and I ready to go on our little walking adventure, and I just wanted to show you guys around the campground first. We'll do like a little tour and you guys can see when I got here there was only like one other person here besides me and now it's like pretty full but I'll give you guys a little tour of the grounds and then we'll go on our little hike I tried to find there's like information booths well I'll show you those but there wasn't like hiking trails on them so we'll just figure it out and kind of play it by ear and hopefully it'll work out just fine I won't get lost in the woods because apparently this is bear country and I did not know that but <sighs> let's go on a little tour of the campground Joey you look so sleepy you ready to go for a walk <laughs> are you ready to go for a walk Joe come on babies <laughs> Um, so we went like maybe half a mile and realized that this does not go there. Then I saw somebody and asked them and they said, no, that goes to like a horse camp. And we don't want to do that. We want to go, go back to the campground. Now it's all uphill, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we're gonna head back and do the other trail at the end of the campground and see where that goes for a while.
So it's the middle of the afternoon now and I'm just now finishing editing up this video and then I'm probably just gonna watch Lord of the Rings and hang out. I'm gonna make lunch. Probably not do much more very exciting um, before I leave tomorrow, but I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me at Winding Stair Campground. This entire area is just super beautiful. I did not know this kind of landscape existed in Oklahoma. I'm in the Owashita National Forest. This forest actually covers a large portion of the southeastern part of Oklahoma and the southwestern part of Arkansas. It's actually a pretty huge forest, and I got to experience a little bit of it in each state and I'm pretty excited if we're in the Choctaw Choctaw I hope I'm saying all of these things right you guys I have no idea nation um, which is an Indian reservation we're gonna be going through it tomorrow a little bit more just driving through but then we're gonna be heading into Chickasaw nation so if you're interested in that, please subscribe below. <laughs> and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll also put a link to my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out as well. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Bye!